morning. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Of course, <clears throat> every day is a beautiful day. You know, this is going to be the first of our mobility challenges. Uh, what I want to tell you guys is that I've been doing 10 to 15 minute flow routines for about a month now. Um, in the mornings when I can, uh, on the days that I don't have to get up so early, and on the weekends, I just got back from vacation, did it every day there. And I can honestly say that uh, I've never felt better. My range of motion has never been better. My joint health has never been better. So the reason I'm starting these mobility challenges is because I want to ignite and excite within each of you the desire to really get up every day, move your body through full ranges of motion, break a sweat, and in the process, you're going to feel amazing, number one. And number two, your, your body's just going to it's going to respond much better to the things you ask it to do, whether it's outside the gym or inside the gym. So without further ado, I'm going to show you mobility challenge number one. Uh, a couple little precautionary uh, measures I want you to take here. I just spent 20 minutes warming up, so don't just jump right into this, <laughs> okay? And if you find that you can't even come close to doing it, don't attempt to do it. Um, I wouldn't say that it's like an extreme uh, measure of mobility, but it's certainly above average, okay? So start with some half bridges. Uh, if you can't do a full bridge, and you'll see what I mean here in a second, if you can't do a full bridge, don't attempt to do this, uh, what I call a bridge roll, okay? Uh, the reason that I like this particular mobility um, challenge is that we are so uh, extension deprived in society. We spend so much time in a flex position, gravity's bearing down upon us, so we've really lost the ability to move into extension, whether it's straight back or through rotation or even in the side to side plane. So a lot of these challenges, but this one in particular, is going to challenge you in that extension domain. So anyway, without further ado, here it is. The goal is to go both ways, all right? What I want you to do is try it, warm up properly, put your video down underneath, let's take a look at what you guys got, all right? key is hand position. So as you go around, you need to make sure that your hand is in such position that you can transition around. All right. I also recommend that you do this on a non-slippery surface. Don't do it on tiles and like that. I'm doing it on pavers. A little bit slick, but I'm pretty good at it. Rubber mats uh, will probably be okay too. Just be really careful because if your hand slips, you can get in a world of trouble. All right. <clears throat> so you're going to start in this position, fingers are going to be turned around. There's one way, and now we got to go back the other way. This is moving slowly. Turn those fingers around. Rock back. Find it. Come through. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Once again, be really careful. You can see how much I'm sweating right now. Get a really good warm up. If you can't do a full bridge, don't try this. Just practice the full bridge. Start with some half bridges. It gives you something to work towards. I do believe that every human, no matter how old you are, should be able to do this. Good luck.